What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and welcome to Immodernation. This is part six and seven of a seven part series. If you guys wanna see part one and you haven't seen it yet, make sure you click on the card in the upper right corner. This is gonna be my longest video yet. In fact, most of the video itself was filmed the day before Maker Faire San Diego. You're gonna see a lot of stress. You're gonna see a lot of pressure to complete this mod under a very tight deadline. Am I gonna be able to do it? Yeah, yeah I am. Sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> Let's talk about what I do in this video. So actually, I have everything written down here. So in part six and seven, I'm gonna be installing the fan controller. Uh, so the fan controller in the back is gonna allow me to adjust the speed. Um, it could also allow me to turn off and turn on individual pumps. I'm gonna be mounting the pumps to the inside. So I'm gonna be mounting the pumps to a platform and then putting them inside of the case. You'll begin to see like how tight and compact the NZXT S340 case is. There's not a whole lot of room. So I had to mount the pumps in a specific orientation. It's kind of like this step-by-step -step diagonal. Is that, can we make a, a GIF out of that? I'm miming. I'm gonna be prepping the window for installation. So uh, make sure I have the adhesive mounts to be able to mount the window to the inside of the side panel. Connecting the pump assembly. So making sure that I just plug in um, each of the, the pumps after they're installed, including uh, mounting the fan controller to the back. So it is sticking out a little bit in the back so that I have the ability to access it on the fly. Finally, I'm gonna just be doing some final testing, filling it with water and making sure that it works. And clearly you can tell that it works because you're seeing it work right now. I had to make some last minute decisions, especially with all the tubing being so tightly packed in there. Uh, the tubing begins to bend and twist and it, it was very difficult to fit everything in there. In fact, um, the bottom of this case actually is uh, swinging out a little bit. The most important part of this mod is that it works and it was ready to go for Maker Faire. And I did just that. Granted, I will have to make some changes in the future to make this more, how you say, leak proof. I've talked about this before, but I don't fill this column on the end here simply because it leaks rather quickly. And that's because the tube is packed tightly uh, next to the power supply. I know what you're thinking, Chris, wait a minute. If this computer is leaking, why does it not shut down? That's a very good question, Johnny. And the answer is because this power supply is actually elevated. That wasn't my design, that was NZXT's design. So it's slightly elevated. So even if water were to pool at the bottom of this case, which it sometimes does, the water is not even gonna touch the power supply, which is mwah, perfect. Oh. Hmm, that's weird, one of the pumps just stopped working. Well, you know, can't change that. Anyway, so this is part six and seven, the final part of the mod. As you can see, there will be some design changes that I make in the future. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this style of video and what you think of the Bubble Wall PC. Other than that, enjoy part six and seven. Kick back, relax, and enjoy. I'm so tired. Uh... What's going on everyone? It's Chris. We are on vlog numero seis muchacho and we're only four days away from Maker Faire. I gotta admit, um, I'm a little bit nervous. I really hope that I can get this done in time. Still trying to put this thing together. I've got all the pieces that I need. I just need to assemble all the pieces together in the right place that they go. And I'm learning all the time that there are more pieces that I'm missing that I need to include in the puzzle. It's been an interesting experience. Uh, it's been a lot of fun uh, documenting this vlog. Hopefully I only have a couple more days worth of work. We got a big day planned today. We gotta, we gotta wait for that train to go by first. Okay, train's gone by. So we got a big day planned. I can uh, figure out how I'm gonna mount the pumps inside the computer, duh. Like the biggest thing is make sure you have enough space for the pumps. So uh, that that's gonna be one of my priorities today is clearing out some room for the pumps. I think what I'm gonna do is probably create some sort of platform. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work, uh, but we will find out soon enough. It's a work in progress. We got a busy day today. Let's get to it. All right, so we need to measure this space to figure out just how much acrylic we're gonna need. Probably gonna have to stop right about here where 
this thing is. Otherwise, I could probably, you know, I could probably just bend that down. Okay, so we've got maybe about seven and a half. I'll say seven and a half by nine. All right, we got our seven and a half inch by nine inch piece of acrylic in here. Had to sand down one of the edges to fit. So we're gonna just slide it in here underneath the cables. Like that, we got ourselves a good fit. We're gonna turn the case over and just measure the bottom, see where these, actually, you can kind of almost see through it, hmm. Maybe if I turn it over on the other end and draw circles, I might be able to pinpoint where the holes need to be. Hold on a second. So I got a Sharpie here. We're just gonna like, kinda draw out where the holes need to be. So you can see where I've used the pen to draw out where the, the standoffs are. I'm gonna drill holes there and we're gonna put our screws through and those are gonna hold the base down. Here's a helpful thing, guys. If you have a hard time finding out where you need to drill the holes in the acrylic, just take your acrylic sheet and hold it up to the light. You can actually see through it. Helpful hint. All right, in order to drill out our acrylic, I'm gonna be using a three 64ths, I think, drill bit. Uh, make sure you, you have something underneath when you're drilling. You don't want to drill, drill out our acrylic. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring this off the edge a little bit and try e drilling that way. 64 drill bit. I agree, 64ths. Uh, light, you can actually... Uh, make sure you have something underneath when you're drilling. Uh, uh, you don't want to drill into your table. Drill out our acrylic. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring this off the edge a little bit and try drilling that way. 64. So we got our acrylic piece back here. You notice there's some cracks in here. The reason why is because I tried to bore the holes a little bit wider just because the screws wouldn't fit. Uh, I finally had to move up to a 1 8 inch drill bit to get them in. So you can make a joke in there if you want about drilling and trying to get it in. If you want, that's up to you. Holes are slightly off a little bit. Let's see if we can get the screws in. I'll be damned, it actually fit. So it's not perfect alignment, but it still aligns. Platform's in. I might wanna cut back over here on this side because the platform seems to be sinking underneath the power supply. The vibration becomes too much, it might start to rattle the entire case. All right, so we've got the door here and taking the liberty of making these acrylic pieces. Uh, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna raise the window above this lip here and we're going to use this uh double-sided adhesive this is scotch brand 3m extreme mounting tape it's very strong i use this for the lcd side panel mod which if you want to see that video for version 2 when that goes up you can see it by clicking on the card in the upper right window somewhere over there. By the way, this video is not sponsored by OCZ. Uh, this is just a t-shirt that I'm laying this door on so that I don't scratch up the side. But OCZ, if you're watching this, holla at me. Hit me up on Instagram or email uh, if you'd like to be a sponsor in the future for a future video. All right, shameless plug aside. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. All right, so we've got our pieces for the one inch sides, but now we've got these tiny little, these were about one centimeter in width. I'm gonna have to cut this tape in half in order to be able to put those on. And just to let you know, there's four of them. Remember how I said having the right tool for the job makes all the difference? Well, got myself a real pair of scissors here. Should make quick work of this. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so I trimmed up these pieces, so uh, they should fit. Uh, nice around there. Oh, that one's got hair trapped in it. Blonde hair will be immortalized. So these are all, all right, ready guys, I'm to back. go Trimmed around up these the perimeter. So I'm gonna go they ahead and fit. start applying them. Trimmed up these pieces around the perimeter. So I'm gonna go, they should fit ahead and okay, just start so applying. So now we got the major pieces. We're gonna put in the small pieces now. I'm trying to put these pieces um, more focused on the corners because um, on the corners, is where you're gonna find the um, the most secure attachment. So you can kind of get like an attachment here and here. It kind of forms uh, a joint in the corners, just like here and here kind of forms a joint in the corners. And that is gonna make it uh, better to attach. Um, I'm not so focused on the middle, um, but the, the edges where the corners are 
is where I want the strongest bond to form. And I can actually feel right here, it's about level with the, the door itself, maybe slightly raised, so that when we put the window down and we put the acrylic adhesive, it should just uh, sit very flush with the inside. Flush, it's not just something you do to a toilet. This, this will allow us to get secure attachment in all four corners. This is what's gonna hold the window and the rest of the assembly up, so we need to make sure that this is very secure. All right, we got our window here. Uh, the plastic has not been peeled off yet just to protect it, so we're gonna go ahead and peel off just one of the sides. Enjoy the peel off process. Fresh, clean acrylic underneath. There you go. All right. Uh, we're going to go back to using our adhesive. This is the adhesive. Already got some loaded up in the bottle here. Uh, make sure you're wearing gloves. Uh, this stuff is, I think I read it's carcinogenic uh, and teratogenic. Obviously don't get any in your eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and put some. Now I gotta be quick with this because um, it's gonna set real fast. Once it's on there, I only have about a minute I feel like I missed it entirely. So I'm gonna take the a bottle again and just get around these edges. Okay, I feel like I, I missed it entirely. So I'm gonna Oops. take the bottle. Shifted it entirely too much. Good morning, everyone. This is vlog number seven, I believe it is, and this is Friday. It is the day before Maker Fair. I still have a lot to do. I'm really nervous because I've got something like 10 hours before the pre-party, and I don't know if I'm going to get it all done. I might have to skip the Maker Fair pre-party and just keep working, keep working through the night if I have to to get this project done. Uh, let's talk about what we're gonna do today. Now today I need to um, I need to water test each of the columns, make sure that they're properly sealed so they don't leak. Then I need to mount the columns to the window. Um, after that's done, I need to cut the tubing and install the check valves for each of the columns. Still have to mount the pumps to the platform on the inside and then connect those pumps to the fan controller. I still need to mount the fan controller on the inside. Um, and then once all of that is done, I still need to get the LEDs installed to light the columns and possibly put some LEDs on the inside of the case just to kind of illuminate the inside a little bit. So yeah, there's still a lot left to do. I don't have a whole lot of time, so we're gonna get straight into it. Ah, freak out time! Our next objective is to create the tubing that goes from the column uh, to this check valve right here. So I'm going to be cutting out small but, segments of tubing so about a lot this left length to do here. at time. And so we'll we're going to get straight freak them out to time. Our and bring it down here. Our next objective about this length here. Be adding them to our ah, freak out time columns. You can bring All it right, down here. So there next we got our twelve. Right here. All right. Got my check valves here. I freak out time. So we'll start. Uh, can bring it down here. Their next object. Putting them on. Right here. So we'll just, can bring it down here. Their next object. Putting them on. Let's begin the leak testing. Got my water here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start testing all these out. Uh, 
Uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of lines over here. Uh, it's because I used a lot of adhesive and some of that adhesive kind of dripped. So uh, when it comes to mounting that one, I might just have to bite the bullet. It's gonna be dirty. Hey, there's a train. Choo choo, bitches. It doesn't appear like there's any leaks. I think this one is gonna be good to go. Now just imagine this, but uh, 11 more times. Oh, this one's got a massive leak. All right, so this one's gonna need to be repaired. So I filled this one up and it's got a minor leak. Looks like it's coming from the bottom. And this one's got a pretty massive leak as well. So we're gonna have to fix that one too. Oh, how about that? Don't see any water coming out. Oh, ugh. That super glue is still wet. It's on my hand. Oh, it smells awful. <laughs> my nostrils are actually burning a little bit. Don't sniff super glue, kids. <laughs> it fucking burns. All right, so we got the fan controller here, and uh, so this fan controller's got this uh, pad, this uh, felt or foam pad, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off. And instead, what I'm gonna do, to be able to attach this fan to the case, I'm going to use double-sided tape to attach a piece of acrylic, and then on the other side, attach tape to that piece of acrylic so that I can attach it to Then what I'm gonna do, frame. to be able to fan to the case, I'm going to use double acrylic so that I can attach it to Got my piece do, to of be able acrylic to here and looks like it fits just nicely. A little, still a little bit thinner than what I anticipated. But with the double-sided tape, it'll thicken it a little bit. It will raise this platform my piece up just of slightly. Acrylic here Put some double-sided tape here and attach it to the case. So we're ready to uh, go. It's a little, still a little bit thinner than what I anticipated, but um, uh, with the double-sided tape, it'll thicken it a little bit, and it will raise it to this platform up just slightly. My piece of acrylic lightly, put some double-sided here, and the tape here, and attach it to the so I painted the platform that the pumps are going to be resting on that's going to go inside of the case, but I need to figure out how I'm going to mount 12 pumps onto this space here. Carefully, carefully is the answer. We're gonna have to put them close together, almost touching, really, and maybe I can get three, six, nine, maybe we could fit 12. What's nice about these is that they, I don't know if you guys can see this, they have this little tab right here. This tab is gonna allow it to rest like this without moving, so I'm gonna use the hot glue Bam, this guy here. And we're gonna hot glue the part of the tab just to hold it down. And then I'm gonna come back with the hot glue and try to get the crease underneath here to just kind of hold it in place. So hopefully this all works out. So I just put a glob of glue down right here uh, against the tab and I'm just gonna hold it down here until the hot glue uh, dries. I'm using hot glue now, but I'm thinking maybe I should have switched to super glue. We shall see. I think hot glue is gonna end up working better though. The other thing that I'm gonna try to do is angle them all this direction. The door is gonna be like right here. So if the door is right here, then um, the lines should just go directly from here, go out. We shouldn't have to do very long runs of tubing, which is, uh, which is great. All right guys, well I'm getting a little bit tired. I'm gonna go take a break soon. I'm gonna go for a walk. But first I wanted to get this next part done just so that I have it done and out of the way. Kind of just try to feed the fan cables through the back. This screw just popped out, so I'm gonna set it aside. And we just gotta get the holes lined up and screwed in. See that this pump is a little bit too close to this, so I might have to move it ever so slightly. Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> so we're getting close to the end of this project and uh, we're starting to run into some problems here. Uh, one is that the platform with all the pumps uh, doesn't quite line up and I think it's because one of the pumps 
that I glued down is sticking out a little bit too far and it's preventing the platform from lining up properly on the mounts. I think I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is and uh, hope that it doesn't rattle too much inside there. So that's one thing. The other thing that I'm concerned about, I'm, I'm really kind of worried that these uh, square shaped tubes are not gonna allow the door to close and this is something that I really should have checked early on. I might have to make some more mods to the mod uh, to get this to work, but I'm really getting kind of worried that this isn't gonna work out the way that I thought. You know, a lot of mods have gone this way before. So, um, you know, especially uh, Steam Link. Steam Link was like this a lot. So uh, we're gonna figure something out and get it working. I'm gonna get ready to attach the fan controller. We're gonna attach it to the bottom right here, but I need some double-sided tape. Now we've got this uh, white platform thing attached. We're gonna have it not only, so this is right side up, but we're gonna turn it upside down and have it um, facing the other direction so that I can control the pumps from the back of the case. So I'm gonna stick the fan controller through the back and have it sticking out just enough. Pull all the fan header wires through the front. We're gonna go ahead and wire these up. What's also good about this is that we have access to all the fan headers, so if we need to change some things out, it won't be too difficult. Well, I got all the wires plugged in. Looks like we just got some cable management to do and we should be good to go. We got the final window here. Uh, you know what time it is. It's time to peel it off. All right, so we're in the final stretches here. Uh, I've got the tubes attached, except for you might notice these four on the end here on my left are attached with green tape, and that's because I need to make sure that they can clear this power supply right here. Um, the tubes are a little bit long, so I think what I'm gonna do is cut some of them down. Uh, I cut about six inches per tube, so I think I'm gonna cut them down to three inch, especially in the front. Uh, the ones in the the ones that are connected to the pumps in the back, I think I'm gonna leave those the six inches. Uh, we'll just go accordingly. As you can see, I finally managed to get the door closed. Pinched a lot of tubes, I had to cut a lot of tubes shorter. I have no idea if any of this is gonna work at all. We'll just have to wait and find out. By the way, I know you can see the green tape in there. What I did was I just moved the tubes up slightly. You'll notice that these barbs over here are slightly taller than these. It's to accommodate for the power supply. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this green tape off and glue these things down. Here goes nothing. So it's powering up.
The bubble wall PC. This is still leaking, but I did it. All right, well, this is it. This is the bubble wall PC. Um, I didn't actually think that I'd be able to do it. I had a lot of doubts about this project, uh, especially towards the end when I just didn't think everything was going to fit together. Some people would say this is stupid. Some people would say this is reckless. It's dangerous because you're involving water and electricity. I have noticed that there is a small leak. I think some of the tubes were compressed a little bit too tight and I think it's messed with the uh, water lines. You you know, that's something that I can address in a future update. It's now midnight uh, Saturday, Saturday morning. Got Maker Fair in about seven hours. So I'm going to call it an evening. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, building vlog. I know it's been a real long one. No doubt there was a lot of footage, over 150 gigs worth of footage that uh, I had to edit to uh, put this vlog together. You know what, it produced something remarkable. I can't, I can't honestly say I've ever seen anything like this before. It's done and you know what, I'd like to see some other people try to do something like this. This is version one. So the concept is here, but I need to make a few revisions. That means there may be a version two in the future. We'll see. I just kind of have to sit back and marvel at this thing because this was just an image that I had in my head. I saw this build vlog from uh, Jay Summit. He did a bubble wall floor standing edition and I thought, well, why can't we take something like that and put it inside of a PC? And I decided to do a case window mod. It turned out quite remarkable. I'm gonna get going with that. Uh, see you guys later, have a great night. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you slap that like button below and share the video. And while you're at it, why not join the Modern Nation and get subscribed by clicking on that subscribe button below. And hey, when you do, don't forget to click on the bell icon inside the button to be notified the moment that I release new videos. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them for me in the comment section below, or why not hit me up on social media? I'd love to hear from you guys. And when you buy products from Amazon, consider using the affiliate links in the video description below. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see ya!